Hey, good afternoon or well, good evening. How are you? Good evening. How are you, teacher? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm very good. Thank you. Okay. Excuse me, a question. Tell me. Are you the teacher? I am the teacher. Uh, How are you, Miguel? Nice this is to meet you, teacher. Nice to, nice meet, to meet you, Miguel. You. This is the first time you are with us, right? Yes, sir. Yes. yes, this is my first time. Yes, you were not in the last uh, in the last group. No, no, I wasn't. No problem. I I, I remember. I, I Edwin was in the last group. Oh, okay. Edwin, meet Miguel. Uh, there we go. So we're gonna have some new people, some old people, maybe different groups depending. Okay, perfect. All right. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well. Uh, I am a, a very serious person. <laughs> uh, I, I like, uh, I try to do my best always. And, and actually I am resting because I, I work from 8 a.m. to 5, 5 p.m. So I am in my resting time. So okay. it's nice, nice to meet you. And it's, it's, I am glad to be uh, teaching English with you, teacher. I okay. really appreciate all your knowledge. And tell me, what uh, what is your job? What do you do? Uh, my job is uh, uh, I, I am a, a air worsening inspector in the uh, Civil Aviation Authority. You are a airplane inspector. Yes, sir. Okay. But not for the military, only for civil. Yeah, for civil. Okay. For civil. Okay. And do you like it? A lot. Hey. <laughs> A lot. That's that's my all my all my all my whole life is I working I working in that in that area and aircraft maintenance. Okay. Oh, so you you know a lot about aircraft maintenance? Uh, um, more or less, because in the aviation industry, you never stop to learn. Okay. All right. That's great. Okay. Well, let's get to know some more of your partners. Let's see. We have some new partners here, um, some that we already have. Luz, Luz Moran, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I am a student and I have been studying English since I was 15 years old, but, but now that formal, right? And now I would like to have my I would like to improve that because sometimes my pronunciation or my fluently, uh, I have some troubles with that. And I would like to, to learn and to improve. And it was a really good opportunity for me. I was a student from the University of El Salvador and I have a degree, but I would like to improve because as I mentioned it, sometimes we can lose some ideas and we're not that focused. But uh, I live in Chalchuapa in Santa Ana. It's a really good city. Uh, we have many good uh, famous places like El Tazumal and some others like archeological sites. Um, I am 
I'm a good person. I go, I really like to to work very hard because when I when I can do something, I try and try until I get the best results. All right. Well, that sounds great. It's great to have you here and great to have everybody else here. I know I see Edwin, I see Carla, I see several other people that I already know. It's great for everybody to be back for some of you and for others that are joining us is excellent. Today, I sent a message in the WhatsApp. So please remember to join WhatsApp because you will receive information or sometimes uh, homework or different activities through WhatsApp. So it's a good place to join. Now, today we're going to be beginning our unit. Uh, first, I'm going to introduce how the platform works for those that are new, because I see we have several people that are new. So it'll be a quick introduction. First, you should be, this is uh, intermediate. So you should be in the idea for intermediate, okay? Now, when you go to the course, you are going to have many activities. The most important activities are the ones to complete with this little check that say knowledge check. Knowledge check are going to be your grades. This is where we're going to get all of the grades and the homework. To check your grades, you click in the part where it says progress. In the part where it's progress, it will tell you how is your homework, how is the unit, and you can check for each section, each unit, you can see the points. We also have two exams. We have a midterm exam, which is unit one, two, and three. And we have a final test, which is units one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So in the section, the midterm, this is going to be the first three units. In the section, the final test is going to be five units. Remember, the most important is if you want, you can advance in the platform, you can go faster, you can repeat, but the important is that in each activity, in the knowledge check, you have to have 80, eight zero. The minimum grade to pass is 80, okay? Any questions? No, okay, perfect. As you can see in the beginning of each unit, we have, let's see, somebody says no. All right, perfect, good. You see what I see. So at the beginning of it, we have here, who would like to read the objective? What is the unit's objective? Me, mister. Okay, please read. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using, was, where, and various, various, regular and irregular verbs, e.g. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you will be able to ask an answer, answer question in the past tense. The converse, conversative, I don't know. Conversation. English lesson. Conversation. Conversation. No. Mm -hmm. English lesson will, will, will help you discuss your background in great, greater daily and get to know people. Okay. okay, great. Thank you so much for reading. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's take a look. This is what we're going to do. We're going to look at all of these past tense. Today, I sent you the video, which is to watch the video for the past tense. Did you watch the video? Yes, I did. Excellent. Yes, I did. Excellent. Yes, I did. Good evening. Good evening, that's great. Okay, so then we know we use several examples for the past tense. The most common, the basic is was, were, and the other is did. What is the difference when we use was, were, or did? Did is for a question. Okay, 
So, so, because was, where can also be used for question. Were you a student? Was she happy? So one is a yes, no question, and the another one is can be a large answer. So, so? Use a different bear. Okay. The did use a different bear, and what to and where is just a verb to be. Ah, okay. Excellent. It's necessary when you use did to use another verb. It's correct. It's not correct only to have did. You must use another verb. With was, were is not necessary. Use another verb. Was, were is normal for professions, okay, adjectives, locations. This is when we use was, were. As an example, were you a doctor? Were you a student? Were you a child? This is was, were, okay? The other one, this is for professions, adjectives, okay? Adjectives, were you small? Were you a small baby? Were you a fat baby? Was she a happy baby? Or was she happy yesterday? This is for adjectives or locations. Oh, were you born in San Miguel? Uh -huh. Were you born in Chalchuapa? Okay. Now, for I or in the sentence, right? I was, I was, uh, I was born in, um, I don't know, in Santa Ana, for example. The difference is when you use did, you can only use did in questions or in, in sentences. Mm -hmm. And you need a verb. Ah, did you study in San Miguel? Did you live in Santa Ana? Is obligation another verb? It's okay? Yes. Yes? Any questions? No, teacher. Not teacher. Excellent. Because today we're going to begin asking questions with was, were, did, and verbs. If you want to ask verbs, it's obligation to use did. For example, I want to know if Carla uh, makes pupusas. I is obligation for did. Did you make pupusas last week? Did you eat pupusas on Sunday? Okay. Or today, I want to know about Catherine. Catherine, did you work today? Or Gabriela, did you study English today? This is for did for activities. But if I want to know about professions, descriptions, or locations, okay, I use the verb to be, was or were, okay? I can use in the past or I can use in the present. And as an example, Osman, are you in your house? Is location, no action. In the moment is, is, are, right? Osman, are you in your house? Yes, I am. Ah, and in the past, how do we make the question, Osman? Uh, excuse me, can you repeat the, the, the question? Yes. Uh, in the past, how do we make this question in the past? Um, did you, Did you stay in your home yesterday? So, so good. This is with a did and a verb. Or how can we say? Were you, were, were you in your house yesterday? Correct. No action, okay. only the house. Were you in your house yesterday? Were you in your house? So. Okay. This is the first. Who's, no. It's good. That's good. Remember, these questions only yes, no. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. If you want more information, is necessary WH questions. Do you remember what are WH questions? Yes. 
What, yeah. who, when, what, where, when, how, why. How, excellent. What? Excellent, guys. What, when. where, when, who. Excellent. So I change. Ah, okay. Where were you yesterday? Ah, is different. Only were you, right? Because now it's for location, okay? But if I ask activity, what did you study, okay? This is for activities, just did and WH. In this moment, we are going to make small groups. In the small groups, we want to ask questions, ask questions about our partners, their life, their profession, the past, the idea is to get to know each other, like an introduction, okay? We have to ask? Yes, it's necessary to ask questions and to answer the questions that your partner asks. Are there any questions, any vocabulary that you need? No. No, I'm not teacher. Not teacher. We have to practice. Excellent. We are going to practice. After you practice, it's necessary to take notes because you have to explain your partner. You have to introduce your partner and give the information. No, ay, no me acuerdo. Ay, no se me olvidó. No, no se me olvidó. No le pusiste atención. Quitémono de paja. No. Pay attention. <laughs> Listen to your partner. If you don't have a good memory, si ya sabes que tienes mala memoria, si sos anciano y tenés ya va por la tercera edad, anótenlo, tomen el cuaderno, no que, ay, ay, no, anótenlo. No, o sea, yo. Ajá, uh -huh. exacto, exacto. All right. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. You have 10 minutes. Five minutes for one wow. partner, five minutes for another partner. Es suficiente de aprender una buen cantidad de información de su compañero y practicar muchas preguntas. Yes? Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's begin. Ana Maria, any problems? Everson, I put you into the group. Maria? Maria, Maria. Everson, do you have any questions? Maria, are you okay? Catherine?
Okay, I will. Let's start off. Cecilia, you ready? Yes. Okay, Cecilia, tell us about your partner. Uh, was Chuk, was Gabriela, Bailon Salguero, and Ana Cristi Muñoz. I can tell you about Gabriela. Okay, tell us about Gabriela. Uh, Gabriela uh, all, uh, is, has uh, 25 years old. No. She is single. She lived Desi. in Desi. Lourdes, Colombia. Desi. No, no has 25 years old. 25 years she old. Is. Correct. She Good. is, she is. Yes, remember, she ah, has geez. Spanish. She has Spanish. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and she is single. She is, um, she has a degree on communication, but she don't work in this profession. Now she only study many courses and, and she studied at the Universidad Jose Matias Delgado and she lives with her parents, his brother, two brothers. And on <laughs> Excellent job, Ceci, very good. Remember, okay. Ceci, in the chat, look in the chat, Ceci. In the chat, okay. just remember, focus in the third person. In the third person, when you are speaking, third person is the S. For example, she doesn't work. She studies. And remember, for her, it's a woman, not his brother or his two brothers. Is her. Her. Excellent, Ceci. Excellent. Okay. All Thank right, you. Ceci. Ceci, vos sos como Thanos, tenés el poder. Select the next person. <laughs> Select the next person, Ceci. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead, Ceci. Pick the next person. Um, Gabriela. Gabriela. All right. Gabriela Salguero, right? Salguero. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Uh, okay. My interview is, uh, oh my God. My, uh, Cecilia. But you, but I don't talk about. No, oh no, about I. What is that? Anna Christie. No. <laughs> oh, Anna Christie. Oh my God, sorry. Mm -hmm. Remember, <laughs> aunque te parece joven, a veces la ansiedad, ya, ya, ya. Mm, take notes, take notes. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't take them out. <laughs> okay. Um, she worked at um school um she ay no no me veo permítame mm. ay. it's okay no te tenés que ver no es tiktok it's okay uh, okay okay so mm -hmm. um she have uh, Ay, lo siento, se me olvidó todo. Hey, hey. Um, <laughs> Solo mira todos los apuntes que tenés. Solo mira lo que apuntaste. No hay problema. Ok. Que... Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, she... um... Lo siento. No, no veo que estás viendo mucha presión. Apuntes. No veo que tengo... estás viendo apuntes. No apuntaste Pero tengo nada. Mucha... Tengo mucho. No, es que solo nos pusimos a hablar de que uh, she works in the call center for maybe five, six, five, six. five or ten, six, five, six. 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 Yeah. oh my God, best, <laughs> best. And, <laughs> and I have the frustrator because she, um, she study, but my career, but I don't know, I, I don't have opportunity, but now oh, she studies. Oh my God. I have a nervous. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You want to study. Yes. Gabby, it's okay. It's okay. No problem. Okay. Can I share my while she is remembered? Yeah, one more. Well, yes, yes. Gabby, remember, mistakes are part of the process. It's normal. It's normal. Yes, I have yeah. this. 
estamos aquí yes. porque cometemos errores. Si no cometiéramos oh. errores, no estuviéramos aquí. Así que tranquila, mm. relájese, respire. Y mientras Luz Morán is going to present. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Don't worry. Luz Morán. Okay, hello everybody. I'm going to share about Fatima and Maria. Fatima is an auditory and she was tired today because uh, of his, her job. And she has a good job. She has many, many responsibilities because she has to count the boxes, the products, uh, the business company. And uh, she, she used to study in the at the University of El Salvador. And Maria is a biologist. Uh, also, she has studied at that place as well. And she likes to listen to music because she mentioned something important that is that, yeah, that she learned by music, by movies. I think that she is an autodidactic person. And I really like that from her because I have to study a lot. <laughs> and, and she has a good fluency, a good pronunciation. Uh, she is a good, she, she loves his job because it is, for me, it is really good and really nice because she has to share with animals, plants, and different, uh, the environment is really nice. Um, and just that, I think. All right, great job. Thank you very much. You can see in the chat, uh, the mistakes that you have is, remember, is final sound in the past, she learned, right? Mm -hmm. She learned, okay. And yes, it's okay, autodidactic or the other, the normal word is self-taught. Autodidactica is self-taught. Yeah. All right, Thank excellent. You. The last one, the last one, but then we continue. Luz, select the next person. ¿Quién es el último? Para ver, para ver, solo para vamos viendo. Or volunteers, any volunteers? They have a question. Gabi, ya, ya, ya te acordaste. Yes, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, Gabby, go for it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, she has studied at the University who? of Sorry, Gabby, Gabby, who? Who? Uh, Christy. Okay, all right. It's okay, Gabby. It's no Christy. problem. Christy. Okay, Christy. 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 Okay. Christy. Um, she was maybe too shy, but, but yes, too shy. And, and she worked for a call center for six uh, years ago. And then now she worked, she worked to the public school. And I remember. <laughs> okay, all right, no problem. Hey, Gabby, it's okay, good job. All right, Gabby, in the chat, you can see, um, you are supposed to say she yes. has two children. She has two children. And it's not correct to say she worked for six years ago. Only she worked six years ago, no four. Okay. Okay, okay. good. All right, guys, so. We have the idea, we have the past tense. Now we're going to go with our partners and we're going to practice and check to see if we understand how to answer or how to make these questions. We have five questions in the platform 1.2, 1.2. You select the answer to the question or you select the question to the answer. This is 1.2 in the platform, okay? Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. All right. Perfect. This only six <laughs> only three minutes. All right. Sorry. Only three minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, let's check the answers. Number one, who is number one? The option number two. two. Number two. Carlos says number, number two. two. Okay, good, good. All right, what about number three? Which one is number three? Sorry. The second number one. The second. The second. The second. The second. Yes. Yes. Next one. The first 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 one. Okay. Uh, what about number four? Where did you bet? The first one. 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 Tu televisión está muy fuerte. <laughs> All right, what's number four? The first, the first one. The first, first one. Okay, and number five? Last one, the, the last first. one. The last one. All right. The last one. Perfect. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, as we can see, very good. You see, you select all the correct ones. Okay. Any questions? No. No? No, teacher. No. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, that exercise you have to do in the platform or? Yes. Just, in the right platform. now it's just for practice? No, no, no. It's in the platform. But we have to, to make it? Yes, of course. R right now? Yes. Now, no. Before. Now, now it's done. <laughs> now we check. Ah, okay. But yes, yes, yes. Let, so okay, thank you. Point, the important is in the platform, the little symbols, I'm going to show you one more time, is these activities are obligation. The activities with the notebook, for example, here, here, these activities are obligation for your grades. You need to have 80 or more in the grade in order to pass. So it's always obligation to complete these exercises in the platform. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. thank You're you. welcome. You're welcome. All right. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's see here. Uh, who is going to read that next objective? What is the next objective? I'm going to read. Okay. Go ahead, Miguel. Uh, 
by the end of this class, uh, you will be able to make a, pos a positive and negative statements in the past tense using the verb to be. Additionally, you will be able to talk about your background in English, for example, explaining where you were born and when you came to the United States. These English conversation skills will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Okay, thank you very much. Now, I think maybe it was a little mistake there because we are not in the United States, but we have the idea. The idea is we already practice asking the questions, right? Uh, with did, with was, with were, and now, and we practice with our partner. Now we have the, uh, the possibility introduce ourselves. Now you have the possibility introduce yourself. So for example, my name is Edwin. I was born in San Vicente. I studied in a public school. I lived in San Salvador and in Lourdes. I am now living in Santa Tecla. I like to eat, for example, right? Now you're going to do introduce yourself. You ready? What you discuss with your partner. Ready. Okay, teacher. All right, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Go, Carla. Hi, teacher. Hi, <laughs> teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Uh -huh. My name is Carla Maria Albergue. Um, I was born in Santa Ana on September 12th in 1980. <laughs> uh, I am a lawyer and I live uh, in Santa Ana City. I study in uh, College Bautista and then I studied in uh, the University uh, Católica del Salvador. And now I work uh, in the call center, uh, Bautista High School, sorry. And I have uh, one baby and I am married. That's all. And ha I have three pets, a dog, a parrot, and a sorry. Uh, Five pets, a dog, a parrot, and three turtles. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Carla. Excellent, excellent. Who else? Volunteer? Who's the volunteer? Si no, Carla te va a elegir. No le da pena elegir. Okay, Carla. No volunteer, you select. Go, ah, Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, all right, Daniel. No sabía. Mm -hmm. My name is Daniel Martinez. Uh, I was born in San Salvador, but I grew up in Antioch, Cusatlán. I studied at the Liceo Stanford College. And I studied drawing and picture and music. I I have lived in San Martin since and from for ten for eight years, and I was studying English. All right, excellent, excellent, Daniel, perfect. Cecilia, I see you volunteer. Yes. 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 Okay, go, Cecilia. Go, Cecilia. Hello, my name is Cecilia Arguello de Castaneda. I am married, I have three child, so, and but now I live alone with my husband. I am social worker and I work at the Supreme Court of Justice and I like to cook and I like to go to the beach and I like to visit my daughters. And I like to learn English. So. Thank you very much, Cecilia. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go. Two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Who's next? Teacher. 
All right, go. Okay, my name is Edwin Eitel Ramos. I was born in San Salvador. Uh, I study in the IRCA. Um, I work in GBM. I'm a computer technician. Um, I live in San Salvador and I have a pet. Its name is uh, Papita. Mm, only. Okay, excellent, excellent, Edwin. Okay, one more, one more. Who's next? Who's next? Me. Me. Okay, go. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Miguel. Miguel Cisco, my last name. Uh, I'm, I'm working for the AIC, the Civil Aviation Authority in English. I am an aviation mechanic. I work for, a, for about 30 uh, years working aircraft industry, maintenance, aircraft maintenance. And I have three children. So I am married. I live in Cotepeque City. So it's a uh, glad for me sharing knowledge in English and uh, uh, I I was uh, happy to be here and teaching English with you. Thank you. Okay, good. Remember, Miguel, not teaching English, only learning. Uh, uh, learning, learning, I'm sorry. There you go, there you go. Excellent, excellent. All right, very good job. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Ya veo que estamos usando was y were muy bien. Was y were muy bien. Lo que veo que no está costando porque no he escuchado a alguien decirlo es el didn't. Yo no escuché a nadie decir el did or el didn't, right? So, ¿cómo usamos el didn't? The didn't is for negative actions. For example, I didn't go to the university or I didn't uh, study English in high school or I didn't, uh, the different activities. It's okay. But in this moment, we're going to check to make sure you understand what is the correct way to use? So with your partners in activity 1.5, you're going to choose which is the correct one. What is the correct way to say with was, were, and then we're going to practice with did or didn't. But right now, first was, were, and then we practice did or didn't. But you'll have three minutes with your partner to complete 1.5. Hello. Hello, Carlos. You didn't join. I sent you. I, no problem. I sent you to I, another group. Good. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, let's check and see how we did. Okay, number one, which is the correct use? And uh, number one. Number one. The, okay. first, mm -hmm, the first one. Number, number two. The number two, third. the third. last one. The, the third. third. The third. Okay, number three. Second. The second, the second one. Second one. <laughs> number four. Second one. Second one. Okay, and number Where? five. The first, the first, the first, the first one. First option. Okay. There we go. Excellent work. Hey. Ah, Yay. Yay. You. There you the go. Ten. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Good. Any questions? Was were did didn't didn't did. uh -huh. no? It's okay. No. No, yes. It's okay. Oh, everything's okay. No question. No question. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Excellent. Now we're going to make sure that you can make questions. So in mm -hmm. this moment, we are going to make questions in the chat. The first, I'm going to put the word and you make a question with that word. Okay. So as an example, look in the chat. As an example, I'm going to put the question, for example, why? Okay, and you are going to make a question in the past. As an example, okay, good. Remember, in the past, in the past, no present. Mm -hmm. I, Christy, me copiaste. Mm. Mm -hmm. Carlos is not correct. Why didn't cook today? Not correct. Hi. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maria Ruth, why did you learn English? Not correct. Okay, good, Julio. Good, Luz. Okay. Carla, not correct. Laura, not correct. Good, Kevin. Christopher, not correct. Cecilia, so so, only the spelling. Check your spelling, Cecilia. Yes, I did. Edwin, correct. Okay, Everson. Gabriela, all right. Fatima, good. Daniel, it's correct. Anna Christine, correct. Okay, Yancy, all right, excellent. Now let's make another question. Now we change. Ready? Go. Laura, no, 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 why did you broke? Remember, always the verb in present. Mm -hmm. uh, Maria Ruth, not correct. Yes, Eugenia, ya te la robó, Maria. Eugenia has it correct. Uh huh. Okay. Good, Ana Cristi. Miguel, no, why? Now, Miguel, ya vamos a how. Laura, ya vamos en how. Ajá, uh -huh. Carla, ya le copié hasta Cristin. Ya lo había puesto Cristin. Good, Julio. Good, Edwin. Good, Laura. Okay. Good, Carla. No, María. María Ruth, no. Remember, in verb in present. Yes, Fátima, correct. Good, Gabriela. Good, Miguel. Can we share more than one, than one? How did you cook delicious? Good, Yancy. Which one? 
No, Carlos, not correct. Good, Christopher. Carlos, no make for homework. You, how, no, how did you make homework? How did you change it? How was the session? Good, Cecilia. Osman, remember, no why, how? And the why, the question is not correct, Osman. Okay, good, okay. So remember, Osman, why didn't you need the person? Why didn't he work yesterday? Why didn't you work yesterday? Like that. All right, guys, good job, okay? Excellent. All right. How did you feel? Yes, very good, Luz, very good. All right, good. Any questions, anything that you have a doubt about in this moment? No, mm -hmm. se siente... It's okay, se sienten cómodos, se sienten bien. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay. Excellent, okay. Yes. Vamos a, a ver si entendimos bien la clase de hoy. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de usar el verb was, were, and did? What is the difference? We use uh, did when we want to express uh, when in when we use a, or a single a verb. sentence. A regular verb. did in the negative or interrogative sentence. And we use was when we want to express Okay, all uh, right. So, we mm -hmm. use was, was, was and were for yes or not questions. And we use this when you need a little more information about the thing we that uh, no. we use mm. was where when do when you talk about profession, uh, abilities and location. Okay, correct, Carla, correct. Remember, Eugenia, even the did is no, is just no question. Did you work today? Did you study? Is the answer is yes or no. The difference is, remember, guys, did is with actions, did for activities. Was were is not necessary the activities. Okay. So, for example, is uh is for describing adjectives. Uh, status, okay. Uh, for example, I say, uh, Carla, are you married in the past? Were you married? No, did you marry? Okay. So the same, the idea, the idea for description. Uh, are you a mother in the past? Were you a mother? You're a mother. Uh huh. But if I say did, is for activities or actions. Okay. Okay. Good. Así que ya han visto qué es lo importante. Lo importante es si tienen tiempo, si pueden un poco, miren los videos porque vamos adelantando y esos videos, si los miran antes de la clase, se les hace mucho más fácil la clase porque ya tienen un concepto de lo que vamos a hablar y vamos a tratar de utilizar. Right? Hoy, como pueden ver, ya deben de estar hasta terminando en la plataforma 1.5, 1.5. Very fast, very fast. We have one to 1.5 today, like that, okay? All right, guys, have a good night. I see you tomorrow. Acuérdense que mañana sí hay clases. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Friday. Solo, pero solo el día de mañana. Solo mañana viernes, el otro viernes ya no. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's okay. Yeah, si me no neither. Pueden, si no I pueden, watched, está bien. I no wasted the bit that. En la plataforma, okay? okay. We try, right, we can guys. try. Have a good Thank night. Thank you. Have a good Thank night.